Welcome to the channel, and today I bring you the first closer look from the Misfits Boxing Guitar Supercard. We will be taking a closer look at every fight from this card. The first fight we will be taking a closer look at is the fight between Jarvis and Ben Williams for the Misfits Welterweight title. On November 28th, the Misfits Welterweight title will be on the line as Jarvis will take on undefeated Ben Williams. This fight was originally supposed to happen on the Misfits Dublin card, but Jarvis couldn't fight due to an injury. And now we finally get this fight, and now we'll see who the best influencer boxer at 155 truly is. Now let's take a look at both men's careers. The challenger Ben Williams holds an undefeated record of 4 wins and 0 losses. 3 of his wins come from knockout. Ben's first ever fight was on a Kingpin Boxing Tournament semi-final event, when he got a TKO in the first round against Black Paddy in front of his home crowd. His second fight happened in Dubai, where once again Ben got another knockout, that time against the Wood Savage. It was a very impressive knockout by Ben and he showed he had some power in that right hand. For his third fight, he made his Misfits boxing debut against Fez Bautista, in which Ben clues to a decision victory. In this fight, Ben Williams showed that he was going to be a problem at this weight, as Fez was someone who had tons of boxing experience. At this point, Ben was already calling for the Jarvis fight. As mentioned before, Jarvis was supposed to fight Ben on Misfits Boxing 17, but the fight didn't happen, so instead Ben took on experienced Warren Spencer. The first round was very close between both men, but then in the second round, Ben started to connect with some shots. The ref would then step in to stop the fight in the second round. His stoppage was met with tons of controversy, as mostly everyone felt like Warren was still in his fight and no one hurt. Even though there was a controversial finish, Ben was still improved to 4-0. Now he carries his undefeated record into his title fight in Qatar. Now let's take a look at the champion. Jarvis has a boxing record of 4 wins and 1 loss. He currently holds the Mystics boxing title of welterweight. Jarvis started his boxing career fighting on the Social Gloves 1 card, where he got an amazing knockout over Michael Lay. Jarvis would then finally return after 2 years out of the boxing ring against Tom Zanetti in the Kingpin tournament. Tom was coming off the going to the full distance with Slim. Jarvis destroyed him in 3 straight rounds, where eventually Tom decided to retire himself. Jarvis showed the world that he hasn't lost a step. Jarvis would then take on the Nissan game in the second round of the Kingpin tournament. This fight was Jarvis' biggest test in his boxing career so far. A Nissan game would go on to win the fight by decision, but Jarvis put up a great fight and for sure gained tons of experience in this fight. After this, Jarvis would finally make his Misfits debut. He took on B Dave on the main event of Misfits Boxing 11. Jarvis would instantly knock down B Dave in the first few seconds of round one. This fight still went to distance, and with his victory, Jarvis captured the Misfits Boxing Welterweight Championship. After this, Jarvis would then take a break and would then randomly drop a video where he went to Mexico for a fight. Jarvis would easily knock down his opponent. With the victory, he would improve to 4 1. Jarvis is one of the best technical skills in crossover boxing, and it's something that could be a key for him to win this fight. Overall, both men are fighters who will leave it all out there. At the end of the day, it's up to who wants it more. Both men have the skills to back up the top, and this fight will be a huge showdown at the welterweight division. Will Jarvis remain champion and continue to be the, one of the best in the scene? Or will Ben show the world he's the new kid on the block with a huge victory over Jarvis? I guess we'll find out soon. See you guys next time.